Uh, welcome to our YouTube channel, Martin. Um, well, I'll, Martin Stefanko is uh, one of our uh, uh, developers working on Wildfly. Oh, a quick introduction of yourself. So, hi, uh, my name is Martin. Uh, I work at Red Hat for almost seven years now. Uh, my main area of interest is uh, middleware technologies like Whitefly, but not only limited to Whitefly, also uh, Quarkus and projects included in these uh, projects or products like RestEasy, Hibernate, Velt, etc. Small Rye. Uh, I am also a microprofile committer. Uh, I am basically responsible for microprofile health specification and also implementation project, which is called Small Rye Health, where I am a project lead. Uh, basically, my main area of interest in Whitefly is around microprofile specifications and Small Rye implementations, or uh, a few implementations of microprofile specifications that are not in Small Rye. And uh, basically, that's it. This is my main responsibilities, keeping uh, keeping microprofile and small in my file up to date. Seven years, you you told me, uh, and you can uh, still remember your first commit or pull request for an open source project. Um, well, it was surely in Red Hat because uh, this is where I started. So it will be probably something to Whitefly or into the product, but I don't remember. Probably fixing some log message or something similar. Okay, so so you 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 told us that you started in Red Hat and uh, always on a, a Wildfly project, uh, if I well remember. So uh, let's uh, let's talk about something uh, not strictly related. Uh, your favorite book or uh, the last you read? So my favorite book would probably be Pragmatic Programmer because that was really eye-opener for me in my professional career. And the one that I'm currently reading is called uh, Java Module System from uh, Nikolai Parlock from Manning Public Applications. Okay, great. And your favorite movie? Don't don't tell me Java something. <laughs> no, my favorite movie is Star Wars, and it always will be. <laughs> okay, okay, a nice one. Um, well, now a, a question that is quick and easy to ask for me, but maybe is not uh, to answer. Why do you love open source? Yeah, that's hard question. Uh, Basically, I would say uh, that I can see that projects that are developed in open in communities generally have uh, better everything. Basically, uh, the more eyes I can get on every change, the better. Uh, the code is cleaner, stable, more, more stable. It's easier to man maintain because my team in Red Hat is still called uh, sustaining engineering team. So my main area of expertise is uh, sustaining. So I know a thing of two or two about maintenance <laughs> and what pains it can bring. <laughs> so uh, I think this is the best that open source brings to us and bringing people together because I had the opportunity to meet really clever people in the uh, upstream communities, which I take as my mentors who are driving me forward. And I know that I'm also now taking this role for my younger colleagues. So it's nice to see how we support each other to make better software. Okay, okay. I I agree. I agree with all what, what you told us. And um, well, if a good friend of you would ask you, how can I contribute? What would be your suggestion to contribute to a generic open source project or Wildfly, if you prefer? That is slightly different from project to project, but generally the first step should be uh, try, trying to find out where the upstream project is uh, tracking issues. So for Wildfly, we have a public Jira instance called Wildfly or WFLY. Uh, where you can find a lot of issues. Usually there is some form of prioritization or 
how hard the issue is. So in uh, Wi-Fi Jira, we have these trivial issues, which uh, usually are really simple. And in different projects, like for instance, in Quarkus, where they track issues in uh, GitHub issues, they have a label good first issue, which you can take. But generally, just start by taking some actual task to work on the project. Because just opening class by class and reading the project is not the best way to get acquainted with anything. Try to find some simple task, try to get into the code, try to fix it. When you open the pull request, you will get some people from the project that will actually help you, even if it's not the best solution or maybe even not the solution. If you just try to open something, you will get some feedback and you can move from that. And you will get to know people that they will usually point you to some more direct channels like mailing lists or uh, chats where you can chat with them directly and you are basically already part of community and you don't even how okay great great i i will add in the description uh, the link to our public gyra so people can 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 join us and maybe contribute and yes uh, um Another question, totally not related. Do you have any favorite pet? Yeah, I have a dog called Freya and a cat called Scratchy. Okay, and the pet 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 favorite. <laughs> and any pet project? Pet projects, I have a lot of them, so that would be hard to choose. But for instance, currently now I'm working on a GitHub bot, which I really like, or Wi-Fi actually. So. Yeah, I would say that this is my favorite now because I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, okay, makes sense. How people can reach you out? Uh, I don't know, Twitter or any any personal blog, anything? So actually the best way is Twitter. You can find me under xxstefank. Uh, okay, we it will it. add the link. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's easier. <laughs> And I also have my own uh, site with a blog, which is called xstefan.io. Okay, okay, great. And the very last question before say goodbye. Uh, well, seven years is uh, quite a lot of time. Uh, what is changed in open source in these seven years, in your opinion? Hmm. I wouldn't say that it changed much. Definitely the way how we develop software changed a lot. However, the concept of open source, I don't think that they will change ever. Okay. The pillars on which open source is built. Okay, great. Thank you very much for your time. Um, you. Uh, well, thank you for uh, to everyone who watched the video. And uh, please subscribe our channel uh, to other interview and other uh, videos. You, you find uh, already a few demos uh, uh, in the channel, uh, but uh, more to come. So, and the same for interview. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.